Well, I did it. I went to New York. I always wanted to go to Tokyo, Japan, and I ended up living in Osaka, Japan for two years and visiting um, Tokyo while I was there. So like that was cool. And of course, New York City, because this is what dreams are made of. <laughs> Down south where my grandparents live, they have all these acres of land and it's just so quiet. There's, bare, there's horrible Wi-Fi connection and all you have time to do is just think. My dream city that I wanted to run off to when I was a kid was um, New York. I'm from Seattle originally, but I have a lot of family in New York and always would go to visit um, and just loved the city. So I always dreamed of moving there one day and living my dream in the big city. <laughs> we played Toronto for two months and there was something about Toronto in the summer being right on the water that was really magical and it was one of the first cities that I played on tour. Um, so I have very special memories of it and I would love to go back there. I think uh, growing up, New York was always, I think, any young performer's dream. And I, to all of those young performers, I encourage it. But now when I encounter them, I'm like, Think of all the other places you can go. I think we all envision New York as this place, which is so funny that because Jack was in New York, he wanted to, and he wanted to get out. But as artists and as performers, everybody thinks it's kind of the, um, you know, that's when you've arrived. And there's so many other places you can go and be and uh, and thrive. And uh, Chicago became that for me. I was born and raised in Los Angeles. Um, for, which is a dream city for many people. Um, so no, I, I never felt that there was another place I needed to be, but I did feel that there may be many places that are unexplored that I wanted to see. So for me, my Santa Fe was anywhere. <laughs>